In this video, I'm gonna explain how the ACI 318 design process works for Shear. My name is Tyler Lay and I am crazy about concrete. ACI 318, it says the shear capacity is equal to your capacity of the concrete plus the shear capacity of the stirrups. When we design for shear capacity of concrete, we always use a fee factor of 0.75. V sub C is equal to two root F prime C BWD and V sub S, that's the shear capacity of the stirrups, is A V F Y D, all divided by S. I've explained all these equations in previous videos. And we want our capacity to be greater than what we calculate our shear to be from our structural analysis. Now ACI, believe it or not, has four cases for shear. Four cases govern shear. Now, if you go and look for these four cases, they won't be named in the same way I've named them. They won't be named case A, case B, C, and you're going to have to read a lot. And there's a lot of details, but I've tried to synthesize that for you. I've tried to make it simple, but not too simple. Let me show you what I mean. All these cases are based on the strength of the concrete. As the strength of the concrete goes up, the cases go up. This would be low V sub C, and this would be high V sub C. High capacity of the concrete, low capacity of the concrete. In case A, if your V sub C, that's capacity of the concrete, is less than one fifth V sub N, that's your shear from your structural analysis, okay? The concrete's too weak. It's not gonna work. You're asking too much of your steel. And HCI 318 tells you to redesign the beam. If you're gonna redesign the beam, I suggest increasing the B. It's almost always the easiest thing to increase and get more capacity out of your concrete section. Now, let's go into case B. Capacity of your concrete stronger, it's between 20% of what you have to design for and one third of what you have to design for, somewhere in there. So the concrete's just strong enough. ACA 318 will allow this to happen, it's okay, everything's great. You have to design the stirrups for the additional load, no big deal, but Ian, you have to use this minimum stirrup spacing of D over four or 12 inches. Now, let's say your concrete's a little bit stronger. It's stronger than one third, but it's less than what you need, somewhere in the middle. So concrete's providing more capacity, which is great, but we still need to design stirrups. Now we need a minimum spacing that's a little bit higher. We can get away with more spacing between our stirrups, D over two or 24 inches. Then we get to the case where the concrete's even stronger, okay? And this is the case where the concrete's actually theoretically may be strong enough to carry all of the load, but we still need some stirrups. We still need some, because we're worried things may be off a little bit. And so you need some kind of minimum stirrup steel, and you need this minimum stirrup spacing of D over two or 24 inches. And then there's the case where your concrete is so strong, it's more then twice as strong as what you think you need for design. The concrete is much, much greater load capacity, and therefore in that case, you don't need stirrups. Kind of complicated, right? So I've tried to make this easier. I've tried to provide a graphical representation of what ACI 318 is trying to do for shear design. Hang with me. This is your shear that comes out of your structural analysis. This is from structural analysis. And you're gonna compare this value to what you get out of the strength of your concrete. And remember what we talked about before. When your concrete is weak, you may fall down here in zone A, and as your concrete gets stronger, you would go to higher and higher zones. And your requirements will change. But don't worry, just follow the graph and it'll all make sense, at least I hope it does. Then there's a minimum amount of steel, which I mentioned before, but in this case, in case D, you don't design your steel, you just use the minimum amount. And you've satisfied this equation, 
0.75 times square root of f prime c bws over fy, which is also greater than or equal to 50 bws over fy. Let's work some examples. I think that'll help understand what's going on. So let's say out of our structural analysis, we got 100 kips. We did all of our loads, did our structural analysis, and we got that the shear we had to design for was 100 kips. And then we use our equation to square root of f prime c bwd that is how we get v sub c and we got 50 kips based on our cross section we got 50 kips okay so if this is 100 50 falls here 50 fall here and then we would go up go up go up go up or go up and see that we are in zone C. We would see that we would need to calculate stirrup spacing, and we would use a minimum spacing of D over 2 or 24 inches. We may need a closer spacing than this, but this is the spacing, the minimum spacing, that we absolutely positively have to have. So this would put us in zone B. Let's do another one. So let's say, our, again, our structural analysis tells us 100 kips, and we calculated from our V sub C, same equation I said before, we calculated we got 125. That puts us right here, 125 kips. So what do we do? Well, we do the same thing. We go up and up and up and up, and where do we fall? Zone D. We get to use the minimum AV min, and we get to use a D over two or 24 inches. So this puts us in D. Getting the hang of it? Let's try another one. Again, let's say our, our shear is 100. It doesn't have to be 100. Structural analysis may tell us that it's some other number. Then you calculate it. Now we got a V sub C is 15. Man, that's way down here. 15 kips is way down here. See what happens. Let's go up and up and up and up and up. Oh no. We're in the redesigned beam. Mm, mm, mm. That means we need to increase our cross section. That means we need to either make it wider or make it deeper. We need to get more area. Let's go to the last case. Again, 100 kips is what we're designing for. This time we have 225. Baby, we are way over here. We are off the charts. This is a great day for concrete. We go up, we go up, we go up, we go up, and what do we find? No stirrups required. Don't need them. This would be E, and I left this one out before. This was zone A. Hey, I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Please subscribe. I'm kind of having fun. I hope you are too. Take care. Bye.